Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Now before I introduce the figure that I'm going to be reviewing, I just want to say that this is going to be my last video of 2020. This is my second time recording this because the first time I kept saying 2019, but no, we are in 2020. But yeah, this is going to be my last video of the year, um, because at the moment the house that we're in, we have no Wi-Fi. But um, every Friday when I upload these videos, I pop over to mum's work, use their Wi-Fi for 10 minutes, and then come home. Um, but yeah, so obviously mum is not going to be working over the Christmas period and New Year period, so this is going to be the last time I am able to upload a video in 2020. And that is why... Shut up. And that is why I chose to review this. This is the Alpha, the React Attack Alpha Pteranodon from Hasbro's Jurassic Park 3 line of toys. So this toy came out in 2001, I think. So it is 19 years old. And I love it. I've only recently got it. Uh, and I've been after this thing f for years. And I finally got it for, what was it like £8.50 off eBay? I won it in an auction. So, you know, I'm happy. And that is why, it's because I've been after it for so long, and that is why I'm reviewing this one as the last video of 2020. So, first off, this figure is pretty big. This is definitely one of the biggest pterosaur figures uh, made in the Jurassic Park toy line. We've had some small ones like the, um, the Ramphorhynchus and the Dimorphodons and the little teeny tiny Kenotyranodon. And then we've had some big ones like the Mattel's Quetzal, Hasbro's Alpha Pteranodon, and then Kenner's um, Pteranodon and Quetzal as well. So yeah, so the wings can fold out. The detail on this thing is amazing. It definitely looks like the um, Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodons. It just looks awesome. I love the paint job on this thing as well. It's mostly like a, um, like a navy blue colour. But as you can see, there's some lighter shades here, and there's a little bit of black for some markings. There's some brown along the back. Nothing. Uh, the light, the paler colour underneath. And then we have some nice yellow markings on the crest, with a little bit of red around the eye. And the eye is itself a very piercing yellow colour. And the, uh, the pupils you know, are actually looking forward. Don't know if you can see that, but they do actually look forward. They're not... Shush. You know, they're not staring off in different directions like some of Mattel's do. But yeah, this is just an awesome figure. And if I just turn it upside down, the dra <sighs> The Jurassic Park 3 logo is on the underside of the wing. Uh, this one is a little bit damaged. This one is a little bit damaged. The plastic has sort of chipped away around the neck, which is why some of the sounds, especially when I nudge the head, some of the sounds can be a little bit, you know, messy and go off at random times. But overall, it still works absolutely fine. So, for articulation, the, the only bit of articulation that doesn't connect to any of the gimmicks is the legs. And I, I really don't know why they gave it leg articulation. I mean... It helps me with displaying it, because I sort of just have it like this on the shelf. I have it like that on the shelf, and then this tripod that I film my videos on, I just sort of rest it so it's, you know, like that on the shelf. But for actual playability, it doesn't really serve any purpose. Um, you can also... Oh my god. You can also open up the wings at the hinges, which I, I believe the... Um, you know, the, well, I don't believe I know. The Mattel pterosaurs have the same hinge. And this thing is huge when it has the wings out. Um, there. It's all in the video now. It is huge with the wings out. So, we'll just go over the gimmicks and what it does. So, as you've been hearing, it does have some sound, which... You know, you press down on the crest, and the opens the beak. And let me just show you quickly inside the mouth. Yeah, there we go. 
Uh, we do have a nice sculpted and painted tongue, and that is it. The pteranodons here have no teeth. Oh, this one has no teeth, which is great for, you know, accuracy. But it's not accurate to the film, because in the film, in the, in the film, the Jurassic Park 3 pteranodons have little, little, little tiny needle teeth. But yeah, so, as you can see, the sound doesn't always work. But I know why it don't work. Because for some reason, it don't work because the gimmick is not actually connect. The gimmick, the sound doesn't actually seem to be connected to the mouth. It's connected to the neck. So because of this bit of broken stuff here, the neck is loose and it droops a little bit into the brook break so if i put it back up in its normal position it works which is why it there because when i pull the crest back it sort of pushes the head into position so i'm going to stop that i'm also just going to fold the wing shut up I'm also just going to fold the wings in again, just so it's smaller and easy to use. Um, there are two buttons on the back here. We've got this one in the Dino Damage, which makes its um, hurt sound. See, and it is just this raised rib there. And then you've got this button, which flaps the wings. And it has a flappy sound. If you press and hold the button, it does like a flap and then a swooping noise. So it's sort of like flying. So yes, yeah, so it's like that. I don't know why the camera's moved. So yeah. Um, and that is it really. Underside, underside, you've got your battery compartment and your speaker. And you've got all the screw holes. Which I'm not going to argue with. This is an older toy, so older toys I will, you know, let off with having all the screw holes. But not what Hasbro gave us with the first Jurassic World. That is not forgivable with all those screw holes. But, uh, yeah, that is pretty much all I can say about this figure. It is a very awesome figure. If you can find it for a decent price, I can definitely recommend getting it. Um... If you're a Jurassic Park 3, pa 3 fan, just a Jurassic fan in general. Or if you hate the Jurassic Park franchise, but like pterosaurs. Because this is, you know, from what I gather, this is a pretty accurate pteranodon. Especially since it doesn't have teeth. But yeah. So that was my review. Let me just, oh god, wait a minute. Let me stand him up. There we go. And there we go. So yeah, that is my review of the Jurassic Park 3 React Attack Alpha Pteranodon from Hasbro. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Whatever it is you celebrate. And I shall see you all in the next video, which will also be in the New Year. So bye.